The pedal bot MIDI foot controller is available in the following sizes. 3 switch. 4 switch square. 4 switch horizontal. And the 8 switch. In all sizes, MIDI messages are sent from a mini TRS socket. A TRS to 5 pin socket adapter is included for every unit. All of the variations have a USB client port for firmware updates, and for controlling DAWs and VSTs. An auxiliary jack is also available in all variations. You can use an expression pedal or dual foot switch to expand control. On new versions, an USB host port is available for controlling USB MIDI devices like the Zoom Multistomp or Boss GT1. Each of the switches can be configured to various functions, like sending MIDI program change or control change messages. There are up to 16 banks where each of the switch can have different functions. You can move through banks by pressing two switches at the same time. On the three switch model, press S1 and S3 to move to the next bank. Or, press S1 and S2 to move the previous bank. Alternately, you can assign any of the onboard switches or use an external foot switch to change banks. In this video, we will use the PB-M3 on the Line 6HX Stomp. To connect the controller, use the supplied TRS adapter and a standard MIDI cable. Plug the TRS end to the PB-M3's MIDI output. Then plug the 5-pin to the HX Stomp's MIDI input. On the HX Stomp, we can configure the MIDI settings by entering the Global Settings menu. Press both page buttons at the same time. Then press the page right button once, followed by knob 2. Turn the upper knob to the MIDI icon to show global MIDI settings. In this video, we will set the HX Stomp to listen to MIDI channel 2. Turn knob 1 to set the MIDI bass channel to 2. If you have other MIDI devices connected after the HX Stomp, enable MIDI 3 by turning knob 2. Press the page right button twice to move to the last page. Check that the MIDI PCRX is enabled by turning knob 2. The PB-M3 itself can send up to 6 MIDI program change messages per switch. To avoid redundancy, disable the MIDI PCTX by turning knob 3 to off. At this point, the HX Stomp is now ready to receive MIDI program change messages on channel 2 from the PB-M3 controller. By default, the controller's switches are assigned as preset toggle. Each switch is assigned to MIDI PC presets, one for the first press which turns the light red, and one for the second press, which turns the light blue. A MIDI PC preset is a combination of six program change messages sent to MIDI channels 1 to 6. Since the HX Stomp is assigned to channel 2, it will only respond to messages on that channel, and will pass other messages out of its MIDI through port. By default, switch preset assignments are as follows. With preset changes, you can also easily bypass a device by making a blank patch and assigning that patch number to any of the switches or assigning it to a PC preset. In this example, I set the first preset on the HX Stomp as my bypass preset, setting it up with no effects. Since, by default, all switches in all banks have the off preset number set to 1, I can easily bypass the HX Stomp by pressing a red switch once again. You can change the switch assignments by pressing and holding the switch you want to configure, until the screen shows edit. After releasing the switch, the parameter name will be shown briefly. For switches assigned as preset toggle, the first parameter will always be the on preset, this is the preset or PC number sent when the switch is pressed the first time. The display shows letter P, followed by the preset number. 
This means the switch is assigned to send a whole preset of up to 6 MIDI program change messages. To change the preset number, press any of the purple lit switches. Press and hold to scroll continuously. There are 100 presets available in all of the pedal bot controller sizes. Presets count starting from 1, up to 100. To edit the secondary preset number, press the blinking red switch once. The parameter name will be shown briefly, followed by the current value assigned to it. Use the purple switch to select the new value. Since the HX Stomp has 126 presets available, you can either edit the pedal bot's presets to call them, or change the switch's channel, to only allow it to send to channel 2. Press the red switch repeatedly, until the channel parameter is shown in the screen. Press the purple switch repeatedly, until channel 2 is shown. Changing the channel parameter to other than preset will allow you to select values greater than 100 for either the on or off numbers. However, only one program change message will be sent per switch, as selected on the channel parameter. On and off numbers will now show these values on the screen, the channel number, followed by the program change number. To save any changes made to the switch, press and hold the blinking red switch, until the screen shows save. To cancel any changes, press both purple switch at the same time. The screen will show the word cancel briefly. Pedal bot program change presets are very useful for simultaneously changing presets on multiple devices. You can prepare patches on multiple devices, and reuse them as you match effects from different devices by calling a PC preset. You can edit the PC presets by pressing two switches at the same time. On the PB, M3, press switch 2 and switch 3 at the same time. The first parameter will be the preset number. Use the purple switches to select the preset you want to edit. Pressing the blinking red switch will move to the next parameter, which is the channel 1 program change number. Use the purple switches to select the new PC number sent to channel 1, when the current preset is called. Press the red switch again to move to the next channel. Use the purple switches again to select the new PC number. You can also set the PC number to off. Doing so will disable any change to that channel when the current preset is called. You can set up to 6 MIDI program change numbers, each sent to their own channels. You can also copy the selected preset values to another, by pressing the red switch until copy is shown on the screen. The screen will then show the destination preset number. To copy to the selected location, Press both purple switches at the same time. To save the changes on the preset, press and hold the red switch until save is shown on T-screen. To go back to normal operation, or cancel editing, press both purple switches at the same time. The HX Stomp has this useful feature called Snapshots. Snapshots allow you to store and recall parameter settings inside a preset. You can recall any of the three available snapshots by assigning the switches to send a MIDI control change message. As stated in the HX Stomps manual, CC number 69 is assigned for snapshot functions, with values 0, 1, and 2 corresponding to snapshots 1, 2, and 3 respectively. To assign the switches to send a control change message, Press and hold the switch you want to assign, until edit is shown in the screen. Press the blinking red switch repeatedly until the function parameter is shown in the screen. The parameter name is shown briefly, followed by the current assigned value. Press the purple switches to change the function of the switch. There are three options for control change message functions, varying in when a CC message is sent during a switch press. CC toggle sends an on value when the switch is first pressed, and an off value when you press a switch again. CC1 state sends one value every time a switch is pressed. CC2 state sends an on value immediately after pressing the switch, then sends an off value when the switch is released.
For snapshots on the HX stomp, it is recommended to use the CC1 state function. After selecting the correct switch function, press the red switch once to change the channel parameter. Use the purple switch to select channel 2. Then press the red switch again to move to the CC number parameter. Use any of the purple switches to select number 69, which is the CC number for snapshot functions. You can press and hold to scroll faster. Then, press the red switch once to move to the on value parameter. For switch 1, let's set the on value to 0, which calls the first snapshot of a preset. At this point, you can save any changes by pressing and holding down the blinking red switch. However, if we want to assign the other two switches to call the other snapshots, we can save time by copying the current switch's assignments to other switches. To do this, press the red switch once to move to the copy parameter. The display will show the letter B, followed by the bank number, then followed by the switch number. Use the purple switches to select the desired switch location to copy the current settings to. In this case, switch to of the current bank. To copy the current settings to the selected location, press both of the purple switches at the same time. The word save will be shown in the screen briefly. Do the same procedure on the next switch location. Don't forget to save all the changes to the current switch by pressing and holding the blinking red switch, until save is shown on the screen. At this point, all of the switches will send the same CC number and value to the HX stomp, which is the first snapshot. We need to change the CC value on the other switches to call the other snapshots. Press and hold another switch, in this case switch 2, which we will assign to call the second snapshot. Press the red switch repeatedly until the on number parameter is shown on the screen. Use the purple switches to select number 1. Then press and hold the red switch to save. Do the same procedure on switch 3, while selecting the number 2 for the on value instead. At this point, all of the switches in the current bank can recall one of the snapshots inside a patch in the HX stump. With control change messages, you can also set a switch in the PB, M3 to bypass a block inside a patch on the HX stump. First, we should choose a control change number that is not reserved by the HX stomp for other functions. Please refer to the HX stomp's manual for a full list of reserved CC numbers. In this example, let's use control change numbers 21, 22, and 23 for switch 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Press and hold switch 1 until edit is shown in the screen. Press the blinking red switch repeatedly, until the function parameter is shown on the screen. For block bypass, it is recommended to use the CC toggle function. Use the purple switches to select this function. Press the red switch once to move to the channel parameter. Use the purple switches to select channel 2. Press the red switch to move to the CC number parameter. Use the purple switches to select number 21. Press the red switch again to move to the on number parameter. With the purple switches, set it to any value within 64 and 127. Lastly, press the red switch once again to move to the off number parameter. Set this to any value within 0 and 63. Press and hold the red switch to save all the changes. Do the same procedure on switches 2 and 3, changing only the CC number parameter to 22 and 23 respectively. At this point, the PB, M3 switches are now ready to be assigned as block bypass. On the HX stomp, select a preset you want to assign the switches to. Press both the page buttons to open the menu. Then press knob 1 for bypass assign. Use the upper knob to select the block you want to assign. In this example, we will assign switch 1 to the first block of the patch. Turn the upper knob to select the first effect block. Press the right page button to show the MIDI assignment page. From this page, press knob 3 on the HX stomp to tell it to wait for an incoming MIDI message. Then press switch 1 on the PB, M3 to send the appropriate MIDI CC message. 
If done correctly, the CC number assigned to switch 1 on the pedal bot should appear above knob 3 on the HX stump. Pressing switch 1 repeatedly should now enable and disable the first block as shown. Next, let's assign switch 2 of the pedal bot to bypass the second block on the HX stomp preset. Staying in the bypass assign menu, turn the upper knob and select the second block. This time, instead of waiting for the incoming MIDI message, let's turn knob 1 on the HX stomp to select the CC number assigned to switch 2, which is CC number 22. If done correctly, pressing switch 2 on the pedal bot should now toggle block 2 on the HX stomp. For the last switch, use either method to assign it to any of the blocks in the preset. Don't forget to save the HX Stomp preset to make the bypass assignments permanent. Note that when you change the state of the blocks or change the whole preset using the HX Stomp itself, the state of the switches on the pedal bot controller will no longer sync up. Since there is only a one-way communication from the controller to the HX Stomp, the controller can't know the state of the blocks of the new preset. The auxiliary jack can accept an expression pedal to control various parameters in the HX stomp. You can use any expression pedal that has the wiper of the potentiometer connected to the tip of the TRS jack. To configure the expression pedal function on the pedal bot, enter the setup menu. On the PB, M3, reboot or power up the device while holding down the switch 1. Press the blinking red switch repeatedly until the auxiliary function parameter is shown briefly in the screen. Use the purple switches to select the expression pedal function. Press the red switch once to move to the next parameter, which enables global expression settings. If set to on, the expression pedal is assigned one setting for the destination channel and CC number. If set to off, the expression pedal can have different channel and CC number, and is assigned per PC preset. In this example, we will set it to on, for simplicity of setting up one set of channel and CC number. Press the red switch again to move to the next parameter, which is the channel of the message sent by the expression pedal. Use the purple switch to set it to channel 2, which is the channel of the HX stomp in our example. Press the red switch to move to the next parameter, which is the CC number assigned to the expression pedal. In this example, let's set it to CC number 20 using the purple switches. Next, we calibrate the expression pedal by setting the toe down and heel down values. Press the red switch once to set the toe down parameter or cal 1. Move the expression pedal to its toe down position until the display blinks, indicating a stable value. Press the red switch once more to set the heel down parameter or cow 2. Then move the expression pedal to its heel down position. Don't forget to save the settings by pressing and holding down switch 1 until save is shown in the screen. The PB, M3 will resume normal operation after saving. You can move the expression pedal to test your configuration. The display should show the value briefly when moving the expression pedal. On the HX stomp, Use the upper knob to select a preset where we want to assign an expression control. Press the view button to show the edit view. Then use the upper knob to select the block we want to assign the expression pedal to. Press and hold knob 1 to show the controller assign menu. Then, turn knob 1 to select the parameter you want to assign the expression pedal to. Press the right page button, and press knob 3 to activate MIDI Learn. Move the expression pedal to send a CC message. The HX stomp should show the CC number above knob 3. Alternately, you can manually assign MIDI control by turning knob 2 to select MIDI CC, then turn knob 3 to select the correct CC number. You can set the value range of the parameter by pressing the right page button, and setting knob 1 and 2 to the minimum and maximum value. To check if the assignments are correct, press the view button 
then use the page button to show the parameter you assigned. Move the expression pedal to see if the parameter value is changing, and that the value range is correct. During the setup procedure, avoid touching the foot switches. If ever you accidentally do touch them, just turn the upper knob to the correct block, then press and hold any of the knobs to go back to the controller assign menu. Don't forget to save the preset to make the assignments permanent. Press the view and action button together twice for a quick save.